And this world is much too beautiful Beneath the white blue sky Beneath the white blue sky Isn't that nice? Hey, look at that beautiful white canvas I put the magic right on. When you put magic right on, never, never put too much on. Just make it so that it pulls good. You know, I can feel that almighty pull. And I hear, don't you hear the canvas howling? Pain on me, pain on me. I'm, I wait for you. And see, now I have to really use my almighty power to satisfy my canvas because my canvas says, pain on me. You know, I had a gardener home and uh, he clipped my grapes. And he clipped them down so much. I said, oh my God, don't clip my grapes down so much. Don't you hear, he said, the grapes holler. As more you clip me down, as more grapes I give you, yeah, this is the same story. So the canvas hollers to me already, uh, fire in. Now magic right is on, and I have a very simple winter idea in my mind. Nice, nice winter, with the little colors on the white, uh, black, blue, taylor green, and a little bit of alizarin and crimson, that's all. Very, very simple. Bang, 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 bang. <clears throat> I just paint a beautiful, beautiful winter in the background and put two or three trees in there. It's a good lesson. I will show you how rough the winter can be on those trees. Now I will put a little bit of blue and black in my brush. And we, blue and black. Taylor green will be good in that too. The Taylor green has a kind of a happy start up from the top. See how dark I fire off there? Quite dark. See, you think I, pay, I, fly, uh, I apply with snow. Against the dark sky, the snow would look perfect. You can really bring it out nice. So let's fire off like this. Then as I come down, automatically it will get uh, <coughs> lighter because the paint, that magic white gets into my canvas and, and everything is just fantastic. Let's start off very, very bumpy. Very, very bumpy. And as you come down, the white goes into your canvas, it gets lighter. Lighter, 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 lighter. Isn't that wonderful how you can create a deep sky by doing that? You know, there are only the three colors in there, a bit of Taylor green, and, and then here, here I like, pull up something from the bottom. There's so much paint in the brush anyway, so I need a bit of dark there too. So this will be a snowy field, snow fields. See, and it depends on how, how much pressure you put on. See, there's always some paint in the brush. If you put more pressure on, you get more out. So this is the condition, my canvas. But what I would like to see there, kind of a happy, happy bluish tune there, if I can get something bluish in there in the middle. Let's see how it will work. Let's see how it will work. Clean your brush. Make sure you have a dry brush. <coughs> and a clean brush, and I will use a touch of dinner white and Taylor green and see how, oh, that's move. I showed you how you shouldn't do it. See, when you have those colors always, make sure you have them in your order. But this time I just put three paints on and, and they are so dark that you don't know really what is what. Now I showed you how you shouldn't do it. Make sure you know where your paint is. Again, white and a touch of tailor blue. Yeah, that's nice. Kind of a happy tailor blue, like this, you see? Not like this. Okay, now you just fire it into the middle and around, whatever. Give you a nice winter color. Nice winter color. Let it disappear into the dark there. Let it appear to the dark there. And up here into the dark there. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. How you decide for those colors is up to you. You know, a certain color 
motivates you. And I feel winter and blue goes good together. Somebody, I, I think we can do a better job with that. But then the dog, I want the dog there. Let the dog come in. I think I should have a darker. See, I need a darker. That means that otherwise more black, more blue, more mauve there, and that's it. Now let's pull it down again. A little bit more dark. You can see it. See the why the why we create that free create and creative power, you know, create free. So you, you see sometimes it is not right, then you go over again and make it right. And if it, you think it is right, then leave it. That's good. But I feel it looks better if it has more, more dark. The winter colors, the, the snow colors come out more. But I want to leave that blue in the middle more. There you are. Let's see how it will turn out now. Yeah, that's better. See, I can see already the tree I paint will be loaded with snow. Let that light be just in the middle somewhere. And here, right there. I just more paint in the brush, make it darker there again. Just bring it out. And then let go a little bit looser and you can reduce the power of that paint that stays in the brush. Oh, that's good. See, that's the beginning. That's the mighty beginning. Clean your brush and you, you, you fire in. There was a little hair. Now I will create, I use my big fan brush again, and I will use black and blue, and I create the three trunks. Do it with the fan brush for the window colors, bit of the mauve, bit of uh, violet. Doesn't matter, no, I, I just create one tree here, we say. I want to put two in, maybe one here, one here. Doesn't matter, give room for two. Then I start off here. He make it really a rough winter tree. A rough, rough winter tree. Uh, bigger, make them fatter, make them fatter to the bottom. Uh, that's good. See, and you can just whatever you see, you can add here and add there in order to have the tree the way you want it. See, you have it in your mind and you unload it exactly the way you want. That's a good one there. And the other one I put in here, yeah, maybe a bit even bigger. See, then you wiggle it sideways, wiggle it sideways. Oh, look at that. Give you already all the little beginning of branches, beginning of branches. See, isn't that wonderful how you can create? Bit crooked is good, it's good. Bit fatter, then you go over and add it and make it just the way you think it is the tree you want. Good. See, now you, you create some, uh, see, they're already waiting for you. The branches, there is one coming out, see. Can you see the beginning of the branches here? You just have to go on and sometimes Mother Nature tells you what to do. Like this gardener told me, listen to the grapes. They, ha they ask for being cut down and I will give you lots of grapes. Bend it down always. Then the snow, I will pack it with snow. And usually the snow will bend the branches down. See, there you are. Bend them down. Isn't that wonderful when you can do that kind of stuff? 
and that makes you so happy that you are the boss, you are the creator, and you it costs you a way. Everything is going my way. Everything's going my way. Way. See? But you have it in your mind, and you know the heavy snow on top, and it all hangs down. It all hangs down. Some branches, they just happen to shake the wind, blow it a little bit, and this branch free themselves from the snow a little bit, and it's standing up a little bit, and the rest is all bending down, bending down to the power of nature, Mother Nature. Good, good, come, absolutely wonderful. And you know, it's nice when you can say that, when you paint, it makes you happy that it turns out good, every stroke. And you try to get used to that almighty fan brush for this kind of uh, uh, branches. Boy, it, you couldn't make it better. They are really, really very powerful. Now, now we will see how it works. Let's see how it works. I will mix my snow a little bit in the, in the darker side. Use a thinner paint, I have a thicker and a thinner paint there. And I use a touch of blue. And a touch of mauve, or what you say, uh, violet. And have this kind of a snow feeling there first. And plastered, plastered. It's a bit too dark. See, it's a bit too dark. So that means when you see it, it's too dark, that's too dark. Then lighten it up a little bit. Pull a bit more white into that. And then I get it the way I should see it. Still a bit more white. See, then it will come to a point where you can Say that's the way you're here. Now I got it. You see? There. There, 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 there. And here. And here. I look at that. That's it. That's what I want to show you. That's what I want to show you. See how winterish it comes now? I mix that too dark. Can you see that? You know, I just don't, don't worry too much. Fill the branches wherever with lots of snow. Let the snow hang down there. Let the snow hang down there. And on the side there too. And move it even sideways. See, don't worry too much. Yeah, let it be like that. There. Isn't that wonderful? Can you see already how that tree is in the snow, stuck in snow? Stuck in snow. Here we find that's the winter. The winter does a lot of, lot of harm to the trees and to animals and to human beings. <coughs> but the winter can be so much fun too when you're young. Oh, yeah, that's right. Then you would love to be on your skates or on your skis. And, and enjoy the winter days. See, look at that. It's a nice painting. When we are through with that, you will see. It's lots of fun. Oh, we make a happy ending right there. Now we will bring out some, I use the other fan brush. Other fan brush with a little bit, bit smaller. And I use pure white now, very, 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 very light. 
and give them here and here and here a little bit of umpa. See? Just on the, out, the outside rim. That's nice. Outside the rim. Oh, yeah, it's coming good now. Just lie the snow on top of the branches. There you are. And then make some pulls. Pull it away, like strokes like this. Touch it and pull it away. Stroke like this and pull it away. So that looks like snow is really packed and it's hanging over. It's hanging over. So here in this case, I will put it up there and pull it away. Ah, got to be a pull. Pull it away. Yeah, it's coming good now. See? Here. Here. And pull it away here and there. See? Now we pack the snow right there. Pack the snow like there. See? And here, and here, and here. That is winter. That is winter here. And now fooling around. Not wonderful. Make it a real winter painting. Here, white again. Make a nice rim. Everywhere you find the curve, you can load it with with snow because it would always peck where it comes up. Here a little bit. There a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we let it hang down. We let it hang down there. <laughs> it's an interesting painting, isn't it? Very, very loose. Hang it down, hang it down. Hang it down. Here, something, hang it down. Here we do the same thing. Let the branch hang down there. Yeah. And this one here. Have to have a bit more paint, a bit more white. I didn't think it would need so much white, that painting. So now we will we will clean the brush and load up with pure white as we have this. You can add sometime uh, Indian yellow if you apply with sunshine. As a sample, if I apply with sunshine, I would put a bit of Indian yellow into my white, and then I just have a bit of sunshine there. So you know, I just create a rim all around, and always like a little pull. See, that little pull, whatever, whatever, that's the little pull, that's good. 
Do you hear the same? Have that pure white right on top there and have a little pull. You know, you live in the city, especially when you live in the south, you never see a winter. Or not, not that kind of a winter. It's hard to understand those things. But I just show you a real, this time a real, real uh, winter, sh how the winter can be. See? Now here the same. You can get scared when you see those kind of a painting. Uh, so you try to get a little bit of whatever standing up there. It's just standing up there, whatever it is, the leftovers. Uh -huh. See here. Bit of a pull up. See, that gives you a little bit of whatever. See, that blue, how that comes out so nice in the middle all of a sudden. And then that clumsy, heavy tree, winterish tree in, 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 in the middle, it brings a nice, uh, it gives you a nice feeling. Hey, there you are. Very, very rough. Let it be a, a mighty winter there. Now you can, you can have, uh, even if there's no sunshine, but it draws shadows, we have that tree, let's see, blue, the same colors, and we have uh, see, there. And we do the same thing on the other tree. And it come down there. There. That makes it nice. Now if we get that dark in between where we lost something too much, then you can make side pulls too. See, like in this case, I would touch and move it sideways. See? Watch. Move it sideways. Make the tree around. Uh, like here. See that is too that just of a little bit of a round move. Little bit of a round move. See that makes it beautiful. Yes, perfect. And always have only one stroke. It's hard to make two strokes because then uh, yeah, I want those lines to come round. Let it come round like that. Uh, here maybe a little bit. And here would be nice to put it over a little bit. And that becomes a nice, nice winter scene. <coughs> now I use my knife and we have this happen here is a little old posts standing there. Old posts in the snow. Now make it maybe high like that. See? And then we highlight that too. It's just happen with snow on top. Let it hang down. You can Pound it on from one side, uh, view the wind blown side. And if you want to do a better job there with that post, use a nice clean fan brush and make those kind of moves now. Watch this, that's a beautiful move. Just a little touch like this. See? And again, see? That makes it round, like a nice round, happy post there. There you are. See? 
And now you can act like there is some wire was there on, but it's all broken down. This is all broken down. See, and from here. Someone who went over at maybe some cows or some guys, they didn't like the fence there and there, this, and the wires are lying there, cracked down. Makes a nice, happy little painting. And we put a bit of snow, but let it hang down here. That makes it really a winter, a winter painting. Oh, there, packed with snow up there. See? Now, what you say? It comes to a happy ending. I come to a happy ending. Now you can use your fan brush or uh, the big brush and you can, <clears throat> sometimes it's good here, just, just a bit of winterish, uh, wind, wind marks, like wind marks. See, like wind marks, uh, wind has blown. Let the wind blow high, let the wind blow low. That gives you kind of an extra feeling. Or if you want, you can e easily add a little bit of this kind of a medicine. This kind of a medicine. See? And bend it down with the wind blow. And that's it. Now I can start fiddling. And start fiddling. That's what I want to show you. It's powerful, very, very powerful. And it gives you that feeling of almighty winter. Thank you for watching me. Bye-bye.